Hi everyone, this is Ashley from Greater Good Consultants, offering you solutions for STEM education. Today we're going to talk about funding solutions, so we're talking about grants. I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to use grants.gov, which is your one-stop shop for all funding opportunities offered through federal government entities. So there's a lot to this website. Take some time to learn, check out their tabs, their videos, lots of great resources. But today we're going to talk about how to use this website to search for grants. So we'll start by pressing the search grants tab. And one of the easiest ways to use grants.gov, in my opinion, is to filter through some of these searches. Without filtering or using any criteria, you'll see there's over 2,000 results to go through. So that's just a huge waste of time. So filter it, narrow it down for yourself. Where I start is I uncheck forecasted because there's no guarantee that those are going to even happen. So might as well not waste my time looking for those. Another one that I automatically go to check or use would be the keywords. So say I am a STEM nonprofit that offers after school programs for computer education. I can filter myself right away by typing STEM. I could have just as easily typed computing, but I think the more broad your keyword, the better, and then the less risk there is of missing something. So I'm going to uncheck forecasted, like I said, there wasn't any in this case. But now you can see it brought it from over 2,000 to under 100, so much more manageable to have to, of leads to have to go through. There's also other ways to search and filter. You can search by different funding types. Usually it's going to be grants, though. Eligibility, so if you happen to be looking for something for specific areas or institutions, say you are a for-profit organization that has a new ed tech solution, you'll want to click that one that relates to you. The default for all of these though is all eligibilities and will be the best chance that you have to find the most opportunities. Then again, similar to the others, there's different categories. So if you know you definitely want it within the Department of Education or the field of education, sorry, you could click education. Again, it just defaults to all. Same with the agency. If you know there's a certain agency you want to look through, that's one way to filter it. Otherwise, just keeping it all agencies will give you the most results. So that's how to filter and make your job a little bit easier. A quick overview of what you're looking at here, so the actual results. The opportunity number we'll get to. The opportunity title is what the grant program is called. The agency is who's giving it. So I don't know all of these off of the top of my head, but I know this is NSF, this is Department of Defense. Posted just means that it's open. The day that it was posted is here. And the close date, which sometimes can be tricky though because it's not always the deadline. So you have to be careful there. Don't buy, go by the close date. You have to see within the program solicitation. So we'll start with this one. So I said earlier, I was as for this example, I'm a STEM nonprofit that I offering computer education after school programs. So hmm, that looks like it might relate to me. And the only way you'll really know is to actually click on it and try to take a look. This landing page is also still limited though. So I would scroll down and start to read the description. So does the description align in general with what you want to do? If no, go back and find another one. If yes, then take a look up here, make sure everything aligns. And if you still think that it's a good fit, then you want to see the actual solicitation. So again, down in this additional information box, there will always be a link to additional information. That link, when you click it, takes you to the landing page to be able to download the program solicitation. I like it best in PDF. So the program solicitation is the big kahuna. It's everything you would ever want to know about this specific grant opportunity. They are very large documents. This one is only 12 pages, which is actually kind of short. But this is where it will tell you everything you ever need to know. So the deadline, important information, revisions, what it's about, required information, contact information, award amounts, eligibility, everything is in this document. And you will read it a minimum of 10 times at least to be able to write a really powerful federal grant proposal. So that's an overview of how to search grants. If you need any help, feel free to check me out, greatergoodconsultantsct.com.